Having been on the Castlevania journey since its modest four-episode debut in 2017, the series has evolved into a cornerstone of Netflix animation even after its banger of an ending, all courtesy of Powerhouse Animation, renowned for its anime-inspired visuals, attractive vampires, grotesque monsters, and copious amounts of violence. Castlevania's enduring appeal, however, lies in the character development spanning its 34 episodes. Netflix's Castlevania intensified the challenge of bringing closure to each character's arc and leaving us fans absolutely dumbfounded with its flawless ending, which has got to be what makes this series the most iconic video game adaptation of its time. It has been around two and a half years since the riveting conclusion of the animated series, leaving fans eagerly anticipating more. Across its four seasons, the show reached a breathtaking finale marked by the demise of significant characters and the transformation of others into entirely new circumstances. The fourth season concluded with a remarkable impact delivering unexpected twists and providing gratifying resolutions for beloved characters. It had truly overwhelmed us with emotionally charged scenes, moments of relief, and of course the magnificent fight scenes. Despite the weight of bringing the series to a close, these moments not only resonated with the established character trajectories but also contributed significantly to the entire franchise's overall impact. However, despite the satisfaction derived from the conclusion, lingering questions remain prompting us to wonder what exactly happened next to our favorite characters. While the series hinted at a happy ever after, but who does not like details? Well, in this video, our focus will be to understand what the hell happens to our favorite speaker witch, Saifa, after the series ended. So without wasting another second, let's get right into it. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you and let's begin. <laughs> who is Saifa Bilnades? Well, in short, Saifa is the glue that holds the Dream Trio together in the Castlevania animated series. As many of you know, Saifa's introduction into the show faithfully mirrors her initial meeting with Trevor in the franchise's gaming lore. In the late 15th century, within the city of Greshit, Saifa and her fellow speakers faced unjust accusations from the church, which wrongly blamed them for the attacks carried out by Dracula's night army upon the townspeople. But despite the enduring constant persecution, they chose to remain in the city, offering their assistance to those in need. During this time, Saifa embarked on a daring solo expedition into the city's catacombs with a mission to locate the elusive Sleeping Soldier, who was prophesied to be humanity's savior against Lord Dracula's tyranny. Unfortunately, Saifa gets ambushed by a menacing cyclops within the catacombs and, well, turns into stone. It was Trevor who later went in and rescued her from her petrified state. Trevor would have never accompanied Saifa to go into the search of the Sleeping Soldier if it was not for his strong-willed persona, and if Saifa was not a part of the trio, Trevor and Alucard would have probably killed each other before even forming the dream team. Right from her first appearance in the show, Saifa consistently proves herself as a resourceful member of the group, always seeking ways to propel their mission forward. Whether it's about locating a swift mode of transport to escape, using her magical abilities to ignite torches in the library, employing the mystical mirror, immobilizing and dragging a whole castle upon the Belmont Hold, slicing night creatures, or even simply conjuring eyes to escape a predicament she plays a vital role in overcoming almost all obstacles and challenges. Despite the narrative's focus on the last Belmont and the son of Dracula as pivotal figures in the main mission, it is evident that the collective skills and advantages brought by the speaker culture plays a significant role in shaping the course of events for the better and, of course, Saifa's contributions are undeniable, making her a key player in the team's journey toward success. Anyone who has seen the show can agree that Saifa can be seen continuously going out of her comfort zone in every scene even if it does challenge her foundational beliefs. In the end, she emerges as a well-rounded person who has finally used her speaker knowledge in practical settings, which has not only allowed her to get a better understanding of the world, but also undergo significant growth in mind, body, and spirit. What do we already know about Saifa's ending in the Castlevania animated series? Well, the last season intricately documents how the constant fighting and killing has brought in an overwhelming sense of hopelessness and mental exhaustion, particularly affecting Saifa. While Trevor appears to thrive in a grim atmosphere, Saifa is gradually losing her composure and making uncharacteristic mistakes during fighting monsters. She finds herself cursing and throwing tantrums, which is a far cry from her usual composed self. To make matters worse, she takes out her frustration 
upon her only outlet, Trevor. Both Saifa and Trevor were immersed in the land of Wallachia, functioning as seasoned monster hunters confronting a relentless parade of nightmarish enemies who sympathized with the menacing death and kept looking for a way to resurrect Dracula by any possible means. But this array of horrors took a heavy toll on their spirits. Even Saifa's usually cheerful and light-hearted Demeter completely soured under the unrelenting strain of having to fight a band of monsters every night. Both of them seemed to get into frequent arguments as they were seemingly exhausted from continuously fighting to thwart uprisings that hinted towards Dracula's resurrection. The true twist came in at Dracula's castle when the power trio found out Barney to be the master manipulator of all the major events in the plot. He was in fact Death, the same Death who was also a major ally of Dracula ever since he transformed into a vampire first during the gaming lore. Soon, Saifa and the others find out that Death was exploiting Saint Germain to resurrect Dracula in the undead body of a golem so Death could feast on the massacre Dracula would cause and become the most powerful entity on the entire planet. This was necessarily Trevor's moment to shine as he thwarts Death's plan and then goes on to fight the entity after professing his love for Saifa. However, she is forced to witness the man she fell in love with to make the ultimate sacrifice for the greater good. In the last episode of the season, we see Saifa expecting a child and grappling with the fact that the father of her unborn baby is no longer present. Despite Alucard's attempt to comfort her, she remains resolute in moving forward. After a period of self-imposed silence, Saifa finally decides to confront her situation and sets her sights on rejoining her speaker clan to seek the necessary support for the impending birth. Eventually, with the persuasion of Greta and Alucard, she decides to stay, contributing to the establishment of a community dedicated to honoring Trevor's memory. During discussions about naming their newfound village Belmont, a horse arrives carrying a mysterious hooded figure. Rushing to the horse, Saifa and Alucard are astonished to find a battered and bruised Trevor, who explains that after a confrontation with death, Saint Germain intervened by opening the infinite corridor, saving him from certain doom. This sight of Trevor, though beaten, brings a glimmer of joy back into her life, and thus our favorite speaker finally finds her well-deserved happy ending. Cypher's ending in the Castlevania gaming lore. As we've just discussed, the season finale of Netflix's Castlevania brings Cypher's character to a full rounded circle, giving her the perfect ending alongside Trevor. However, it is worth examining whether her conclusion aligns with her character's fate in the video games. Drawing inspiration from Konami's iconic horror themed monster hunting video game series, particularly Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse, Cypher Bilnati stands out as one of the four protagonists and has continued to be a recurring character in various sequels and related media. Originating from a background among witches in Wallachia, a young Saifa faced the tragic eradication of her clan through massive witch trials orchestrated by Carmilla and other creatures of the night, which resulted in the death of many of her fellow witches including her own parents. Escaping the persecution, Saifa sought refuge near a monastery in Wallachia, where she trained as a monk and formed a pact with the spirits to master the elemental forces of fire, ice, and lightning. Driven by a deep-seated desire to combat dark Darkness. She joined the church as a hunter, dressed as a boy in order to navigate the pervasive fear of witches. Now, in 1476, Wallachia faced a resurgence of monstrous creatures under the command of Lord Dracula, and Saifa played a pivotal role in the church-led hunting party formed to confront this threat. Unfortunately, similar to her initial trope in the Netflix anime, Saifa was captured by a cyclops and transformed into a statue. Lucky for her that Trevor stumbled upon her while in his quest to end Dracula's tyranny and freed her from this petrified state. Recognizing the urgency of the situation, Saifa chose to join forces with Trevor along with Grant Dancy and Alucard. Their collective efforts culminated in a climatic battle against Dracula, resulting in the collapse of his castle and the eradication of his monstrous horde. After all the vampire drama was solved, Saifa, likely abandoning her life as a church hunter, settled down with Trevor and got married in secret. They eventually became parents, continuing the Belmont legacy by merging with the powers of the Bilnatis clan. In the gaming lore, Saifa, Trevor, and Alucard gained renown as the legendary Three Warriors. Their tales passed down through generations of Belmonts. Saifa, in particular, passed on her magnificent magical abilities to descendants like Juiced Belmont, who of course emerged 250 years later. Saifa's enduring legacy alongside Trevor saw their descendants facing Dracula across the centuries, marking the end of their trials and the beginning of an era of peace for Wallachia. 
What do we think happened to Saifa Bilnadis after the Netflix TV series ended? To get to this particular topic, it was necessary to explore her character through the show and the games in order to evaluate and back our theories on what could have happened to Saifa's character. Now, of course, the show did not particularly hint towards anything other than the obvious implication of Trevor settling down with Saifa in Village Belmont. But if we refer to the gaming lore, it is safe to assume that Trevor and Saifa get married before Saifa gives birth to the next Belmont who is most possibly Frederick Belmont, given the franchise's main timeline. At the end of the series, Alucard almost goes out of his way to convince Saifa to stay and help him build a community where they could all stay together and thrive, so we can safely assume that Saifa used her perfect organizational skills to help the people to build a home. Because these were people from the Dynasty village, which was decimated by night creatures, they have constantly lost their homes and were clearly a little hopeless about life, which presented the perfect opportunity for Saifa to showcase her nurturing side and use her encouraging charm to bring back hope for them. After helping to build a civilization around the Belmont Hold using whatever resources they had at their disposal, we think Saifa could have played a major role in using her speaker inheritance to inspire young minds and teach them everything she knew by taking charge of the local school. Now, if we closely look into the main continuity of the games, we do not exactly see Saifa joining her husband in the fight against a resurrected Dracula in The Curse of Darkness, and given that the show ends with Dracula and his wife's resurrection as a final twist, it is quite possible that Dracula's picture-perfect life goes awry once again, prompting his menacing wrath and compelling Trevor to confront him one last time. In Curse of Darkness, Trevor leaves his family behind to join Hector and fight Isaac and a resurrected Dracula, so maybe the same happens in this show as well. Maybe Saifa is forced to stay behind and protect the village alongside her young child from any unforeseen circumstances in Trevor's absence. At least, that's what the safe choice would be, according to the insinuation of the gaming lore. Because even if Trevor loses his life and fails to take down the dark vampire lord, there's always another Belmont ready with a whip and quaking in revenge for his father's death. So, Saifa staying back and helping her son Frederick reach his fullest potential before embracing his Belmont lineage is not necessarily a bizarre assumption. But again, Warren Ellis, the show's creator, has always used his own imagination to paint Saifa's character on screen. So given her stubborn nature to be included in every fight, it is possible she joined Trevor in his quest and helped him overthrow Dracula once and for all. But it should be noted that this is just another wild theory, none of which per se are set in stone. They're simply our take on what could have been the scenario if the studio had decided to follow a continuity along Castlevania's timeline. Marvelous Verdict Although most of us never had any complaints with Saifa's otherwise fulfilling ending, the show had left us asking for more, especially because the new spin-off series Castlevania Nocturne did not really address what happened to either of the characters from the OG TV series. Nonetheless, Saifa was easily the most powerful witch in the series and a true feminist icon mostly because her character is set in the 15th century. So how about you guys? What are your theories on Saifa's characters post the show? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.